is right, Boros. That is right. You tried it all every single day. You knock onto my door and ask my mom if I can come out and play. But I can't. I don't want him. I'm tired of you. Take your balls and leave. Yes, I said balls. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Max Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. I hope you're having a blessed Monday. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know, it's Monday, I I'm sorry for teasing you, but I hope that you anyways have a wonderful day, and I want to do a special freaking shout out to Dylan Peden, I'm sorry man, I just missed you, I missed your freaking name popping off in my notifications, so let's welcome our newest, Nico Bolas, God Pharaoh, Dylan Peden, thank you so very freaking much from the bottom of my heart, I really, really appreciate that you go in the extra mile supporting the channel with your hard earned cash in the highest freaking tier. This video is for you. And if you're not Dylan Peden, stop watching right now. I'm just kidding. Please keep on watching because enough with the yammering. Let's get into the Jenny Fake teaming up with Zia Tora Hammering. Yes, yes, my friends. Oh, this is a deck that I really, really want to build since a long freaking time. It is inspired by a uh, championship deck, but I, I, I tweaked it a little bit for best of one. So there's no sideboard, there's no nothing. And we go with the Jenny Faye Jetmir second combo, together with the Ziatora, the Gala Greeters, Black Market Tycoon, Ezekiel's freaking Chariot, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. All of these are token creators. And uh, this also, if you read, but you rather keep the Rhino to be honest. All of these are token creators. And uh, every token you can decide if it becomes a 2-2 cat with haste or a 3-2, a 3-1 dog with vigilance. And if you choose to get either of those, well, you don't get, for example, a treasure. But is that really important? I don't think so. And yeah, so what you want to do is bring down the Black Market Tycoon, play the Jenny Fay, uh, activate the Black Market Tycoon, make yourself a cat, attack in with the cat. Easy, easy freaking peasy. And if you have the Gala Greeters on the battlefield, every single treasure that you now play becomes a cat or a dog. Just remember, they come in tapped, so the dog and the cat will come in tapped as well. Don't you think that you get a freebie? Nothing is free. The Black Market Tycoon takes care of that. And each treasure gives you two, uh, deals you two damage. But that is fair, because you can have a turn three freaking Isika's Chariot, a turn three Helana and Alina, or a turn four freaking Warchop Warchief. If you're playing your cards right, Yes, you can. And that is pretty darn freaking delicious. You could also go turn two Galagritas. Turn three, you play the Black Market Tycoon. Now you get another treasure. Now you're on four. The next turn on turn five, uh, on turn four, uh, you are on four treasures. You make yourself another treasure. Now you're on six treasure. Bam! Turn four freaking Ziatara, baby. And then you have all the treasures in the world. And every single treasure that you're making with the Ziatora can turn into a cat or a dog. Whatever you prefer, you know, and the choice is all yours, my friend. The choice is all yours. And together with the Halan and Alina, you can make yourself some very, very big freaking creatures. And then just slam it into their face with the freaking Ziatora. Finish them off. Mmm. These two teaming up are freaking darn delicious. Also, there's some more synergies in here that are just so good. For example, we have the Voltage Surge. With all the trashes that we're doing, we can deal four damage easily. Raven Fieldman, because it's still a mono white or, you know, um, yeah, Boros freaking matter. Mm. And there is only two creatures in the Boros deck that aren't white. And that is the Vampire that we can take care of the Voltage Surge with, or the Infernal Grasp. And that is the uh, Thundering Raiju. Same here, same here. So, yeah. Also, another synergy that I want to talk about is the Fable of the Mirror Breaker and Workshop freaking Warchief into Ezekiel's Chariot. I know it's a lot of words, but let's just say you play, you play the Fable of the Mirror Breaker, you play the Ezekiel's Chariot, then you play the Workshop Warchief. Now you make a copy of the Warchief. You attack in with the Chariot and the Warchief. Now you can copy the token, and the token will not disappear because only the one that you made with the reflection will disappear. The other one will freaking stay. So you will have another Workshop Warchief on the battlefield. That is just here to stay now. With Trample, it gives you three freaking life. It, it makes yourself a Rhino to turn that you 
kill it for whatever reason gets killed you fling it into their face just freaking darn delicious and the one that you made with the fable of the mirror brick just fling it into their face will it happen oh oh there will be some crazy games today trust me shuffler is doing his darnest but we will be prevailing we will we have the Valkyrie here two times as a creature in the early game but we will be getting into tybalt very freaking fresh yes and we freaking love the tybalt so make sure to use it if you can you know with all the treasures and everything having a tybalt it's just pretty pretty darn delicious we have two riveteers charms that can help us you know getting rid of the graveyard if we have to but it can also like look make us look at the top three cards and until the next end step we may play those cards our next end step or we make them destroy their biggest sacrifice the biggest creature that they own that is also pretty darn good worst comes to worst we still have the meat massacre and we can use this also as a one turn kill ender because you know we have all these little critters that we can just throw under the meat hook bus and we will trust me we will not but we still have it so hey then we have three down of the buck bear also works very well with the Ginny fey because instead of a two two little uh, uh one one little red goblin creature token you're getting a three one dog that's attacking or a two two cat that's attacking your choice with one Buzijo, one forest and the rest is just double lands and four Zeotaurus Proving Grounds. Is there anything I've missed? I don't think so. Just check out these mean sleeves. Alright. So welcome to the black market, my friends. Where we have it all. I'm Max Malone. And I will see you in those cat dog games. I just walked my dog and it started freaking raining. I did not like that at all. Also, we lost a lot of rank. I tried to build another deck. No more dabbing for 420. None of that. Opponent's going first. I do not like that, but I do like our hand here. Because we can go uh, Black Market Tycoon or Gala Greeters into... We will see. We will have to see. Alright, it's is it. Do not like that too much. But we might have a very early Valky. That is already pretty darn good. Oh my, the Zeotora here is also pretty darn cute, I have to say. I'm going with the Black Market Tycoon here. They don't have an answer. But they might have a return target spell. Yeah, the Fading Hope, exactly. That is the one that I was talking about. That is the one that I was talking about. Alrighty. Okay. Well, we're still going with it. We're bringing down another Black Source here. And uh, yeah, then that's it, Mr. That's it. Come on, really? Really now? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, well, they are kidding me. Ain't that beautiful? No, it ain't. A what? A what now? All right. Well, that's that's amazing. <laughs> totally unexpected and freaking amazing is what it is. Well, but you know, I'm just doing this now. Getting freaking rid of it right away. Just right freaking away. Not even chilling. Not even freaking chilling. Get out of here, stupid cat wagon. What, what are you? Why? Why do you have all of these things? A freaking annoying is what it is. Yes, yes. One, two, three, four, five. I want that uh, Valky on the battlefield. I really, really do. The voltage surge, okay. Well, in that case, I'm getting no Valky, am I now? Let's have a look at their hand here. Let's just have a little look at their hand here. Oh, you have a counter spell, don't you? <laughs> Unreal, man. Unreal. Okay, what even is this deck, man? Uh, I'm impressed. I'm utterly impressed, I have to say. I really am. Okay. Do you have another one, though? You do not. Perfect. Freaking perfect. So get out of here, man. Get freaking out of here. Stealing my Valky. Stealing my freaking Valky. I do not appreciate that one bit. Not in the slightest. Okay. And a scoop. Get out of here, man. Having an answer for my whole freaking early game and then tripping on lands. Man. This game. What was this? Get. Get out of here. I was so certain. So certain. That they had a freaking gold span dragon in it. I was so certain. That is why I really want to bring down that Valky. But they were afraid of everything I put on the field. 969. Nice. Nice. We're going first. 
I mean, this is kind of terrible. I'll keep it. <laughs> I'll keep it, man. All we need is one, one beautiful green source, and we're super good. And we are super freaking good. All we need. Oh, it's life gain. It is life gain. All right. So no green source has been found yet. Not yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. I can feel it. I can feel it in my tiny little Maloney bones. Okay, that is still fine. I don't mind that too much. There is the green source now. There it is. Okay. So whatever you have here, my friend, it's going to be amazing. Freaking amazing. Because I still do have the Infernal Grasp. So what do you have? What, what do you have, my friend? Oh, the Skyclave Evaporation. Well, that is, that is indeed something. I, I like that. I really do. I really, really do like that, you know, in a, in like a masochistic kind of way. Oh, my sweet baby Jesus, yes. Yes. Give me that. Give me that. I want my thanks back. I want them all freaking back. Yes, yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. So, next turn, the Seeker's Chariot into Jinnafei. Mmm. Mmm-mm. What you gonna do then, my friend? Oh, no, please don't. Oh, the horror. I still think that I'm doing this now. Yes, yes. Okay. So, I will just destroy this Righteous Valkyrie right away. Righteous away. Not even chill in one turn. Maybe I will be bringing down the Zeatora. We will see. We will have to see. Because the Zeatora would be nice. Oh my lord. Okay, just talking about going ham here. Just talking about going ham here. Alright, that is perfectly fine. Nothing to see here. Nothing at all. Alright, they will be attacking in though, I'm pretty darn certain. Pretty darn certain. Alright, that is good. That is real good. I like it, I really do. Okay, no playing Zeatora this turn. We are still getting rid of one of those Righteous Valkyries. Yes, yes we are. Oh, yes we are. So, now I can do this. Attack in with these two. Make a copy out of you. And giving it a little doggo, yes. And next turn we do have the Zeatora. So they really need a lot of freaking damage coming our way to destroy us here. Like this is three plus four is seven. I don't think it is enough. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> no mind, no mind that, you know, just just forget what I just said. Just forget it all. It's uh, it's all right. It's all right. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind at all. All freaking good here. All freaking good. Okay, well, it is what it is. What am I supposed to say about it? <laughs> all right. These two aren't attacking. Well, These two are not attacking in. All right. But I am attacking in with everything here. A copy of this. Make another little doggo here. They can block one thing. They will still be going down, you know? Will we still going down enough for me to, uh, you know, take care of that? All right. Freaking weird, but all right. Have to do this now. Getting rid of this righteous Valkyrie right here. And uh, making myself a lot of dogs with vigilance. Okay, here goes nothing, my friends. That ain't enough. That is a little bit enough. But not closely. Far not enough here. Okay. Well, the land ain't enough as well. We are slamming in there with everything. Yes. I mean, hey, what are they even supposed to do here? 
They scoop! That is right! Woof woof, my friend! Woof! Freaking woof! Oh my lord! Seriously! When they played the third Righteous Valkyrie, I thought that was it! But we got him! We freaking got him! That is what happens when Jet Mir's Bass and Zia Tora team up together! Mmm! Crumble away, Righteous Valkyrie! Crumble away! Sweet lord, that was darn, darn delicious. Triple D, well, two Ds would have been enough for me. I won't complain there. Hey, uh, uh, hey, oh, hey. I like this hand a lot, I really do. Gallic readers into Fable of the Mirror Breaker into Potential Rhino. Hey, hey, that is pretty darn good, you know. That is indeed pretty darn freaking good. All right, let us just hope that they don't have an answer right away. They do not. Do not have an answer right away. That is pretty darn delicious. That really, really is pretty darn delicious. All right, I will be attacking in first. They might have a counter spell here. If they do well, that would be a little bit annoying, but not the end of the world annoying. They do have it to make disappear even. Sheesh, man, sheesh. All right, do you have your own though? Your own Fable of the Mirror Breakup. Here it comes now, the Fable. No? All right. All right, I like it. I really do. I am attacking in still. And I am playing this Valky as a Valky. They do have another make disappear. Hey, so be it. So freaking be it. Shoot at my Gallag readers. Oh, come on, man. There's no reason for this aggression, dude. There's literally no reason for this aggression. Oh, my lord. Not having the workshop war chief here is pretty darn brutal for me. So I think that we're up against a, um, what's his face? Yeah, game. Cool beans. Cool freaking beans. Not giving me a freaking land here. Oh, get out of here, man. Get out of here. Yeah, I think that we're up against a, um, what's the face? Oh, man, I forgot. You know the, the enchantment deck? Yeah. The one that just copy spells all over again. Over and over and freaking over again. We're missing land drops. And they do not miss land drops. Oh, it's always against an Izzet deck where we're looking so bad. So bad. It's because deep inside, Izzet was my first freaking enemy. The first ever. And will never be the last. Oh, come on, really now. <laughs> really now. Is that how you're doing me now, game? Is that how we do it now? You're giving me a den of the bugbear as a land? Get out of here, man. Now watch him have another uh, big score here. Just right away. But it could also have another Prismari command. Nope, it's just a big score. Okay. All right. Yeah, I know, I know. It's 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 an is it uh, big, make it big and slam it into my face kind of deck. All right. Is Express iteration number two. I thought it was maybe a, a arcane bombardment deck, but it ain't. It just ain't. It is not. Not an arcane bombardment deck. Alrighty. You think they have more counter spellage? Alright, I think that they do. I think they do. But we're slamming in there with the Valky just and see what they're doing. And uh, we are trying here with the Workshop Warchief. They do have another counter spell, so be it, you know? I can only do that much. A Javari Disruption, even. Yeah, I think that I should have kept open my Infernal Grasp here. If they do have a Gold Span Dragon now, we're pretty darn dead, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, sir. No denying that. All right, they're thinking about using their treasures here. Yeah, I should have kept open my Infernal Grasp. That was just... That was just greedy. Oh, it's just the third big score. I mean, not even 20 cards. Okay. And I'm struggling to find my lands, you know. <laughs> Oh, I hate this color so much. This is really the most annoying color. It's like, you know, there's a lot of things. Oh, the Celestis? I did not expect that to be honest. Not at all. Not at all. Alrighty. My freaking Roddy. So we are getting in there with our Valky here. And now this time we keep up our Infernal Grasp, yo. They might have a crack in here. Yes, yes, they might have a crack in here. But we will see if they do. We will see if they do. Alrighty, my freaking Roddy. I mean, the war chief is still here, you know, it's still something to take care of. 
They still might have a Kraken, and I... Oh, please don't tell me. Please don't you tell me. Oh, it's just a big score. Okay, well, that is... You can tell me about that all you want. Tell me more. Tell me more about your big score. Well, that is still a lot of things that I really, really do not like seeing uh, coming up my way here. All right, so they might still have a uh, burn down the house or something like that, you know? But also, they have drawn, like, half of their deck already. They have only drawn, like, casual 15 more cards than we did. 15 cards more than we did. Just casual. No way, man. No freaking way, man. No freaking way, man. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh, the body of research combo. And we got gotten by it so good in the top 500. Triple D. Oh, no. Oh, if you don't play counter spells, there's literally nothing you can do here. Nothing you can do. Get out of here, man. I wish I was still in the rain. That was pretty... <laughs> Pretty unexpected. I, that was the last thing I thought about, man. The last freaking thing I thought about, man. Okay, I like this hand a lot. I really, really do. Because we can go Gala Greeters into Ginny Faye. And that is pretty darn delicious. Hello? Hello, my friend. Sundown Pass. Are you not a Boros deck MTK Arena? Are you not a Boros deck? We'll have to find out all together now, don't we? Freaking don't we. So one might argue that I should play the Black Market Tycoon first. But I don't. Sue me. <laughs> oh, it is. It is just okay. <laughs> I was just very confused here. Very, very much confused. Alrighty. Oh, freaking righty. We still go with the Jenny Faye here. Making ourselves a tasty little, uh, you know, little doggo here. I mean, it comes in tap, but hey. And we're still putting a counter onto the Gala Greeters. So yeah, you see, it is totally freaking worth it. Totally freaking worth it. And we still have the Voltage Surge here. So we're fine. We're fine. But play with fire. Well, that is darn bad, isn't it? All right. That is darn annoying, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. So we're going with you here. And we're going to another green source because it does not really matter too much. We are getting in there with the dog. Yes, yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. Getting in there with the dog. And ending the turn. Let's act like we don't have anything here. For now. For freaking now. I will shoot this Luminarch Aspirant like there is no freaking tomorrow. Before it can even go to attacks, you know. That is actually what I'm going to do here. All right, get out of here, Luminarch Aspirant. Get freaking out of here. I don't want to see you anymore. I don't want to see you anymore. Or whatever the song is. I don't know. I don't know songs. Oh, this is darn freaking perfect, isn't it? Darn freaking a perfect, isn't it? Um, decline. I want that treasure thing. All right. Now they can try and attack in. Boros, you can try and attack in all you want. All you freaking want. I have a free little creature every single turn now. Every single freaking turn now. And I will use it. Oh, yes, I will. Okay. You think you're so smart, aren't you? Don't you? Don't you think that you're so smart? Alrighty. Activating the ability. Creating a treasure. Making myself a little dog of vigilance. And I will be blocking here and here like this. Good, good. Good. What you gonna do now, Boros? What you, what you, what you gonna do now? Oh, the Valorous Dance! Oh no, the horror! The freaking horror! But that was kind of all you gotta do here! Decline! And uh, I will be making myself some more doggos here? Or some cats, why not? They have haste. They have freaking haste. Okay, and now I'm attacking in here. With everything. Because give me one darn good reason why I shouldn't. And making myself another uh, vigilance creature. Yes, yes. Okay. 
<laughs> so good luck with everything, Boros. I, I don't mind, you know, you can you can try. You can do whatever you want, but you know what I'm going to do next turn? I will just freaking Meadow Massacre the heck out of you. Oh, is that all you're doing? Is that all you're doing? And you scoop! That is right, Boros! That is right! You tried it all, every single day! You knock onto my door and ask my mom if I can come out and play. But I can't. I don't want to. I'm tired of you. Take your balls and leave. Yes, I said balls. Oh, Boros. I hate that you are the top tier deck. That everyone's playing on oh, Boros. Alrighty. Yeah, we can keep this hand. We can have a very early workshop war chief here. It would be cute. It would be pretty darn cute. Alright, I'm going with the Den of the Bugbear. Maybe we can keep the Poseidon, who knows. Oh my, is this a mirror match? We, we're in a mirror match. Amazing game. Freaking amazing. I, I like that a little bit. But we will still have an Ezekiel's Chariot next turn. And I like that also very much. <laughs> okay, it kind of is a mirror match. Not really, but kind of. But we will see where this goes, you know. They're making the treasure. One man's trash is not a man's... Tr you piece of... Mmm, I don't even want to say it here. Not even want to freaking say it here. All right, I mean, hey, we're still doing this now, you know. I think we can get rid of the black market tycoon. I'm not certain yet. We will see. We will have to see. Atsuk, what? All right, that is pretty darn interesting. I'm intrigued. I'm pretty much intrigued, man. You, you have my, you piqued my interest. You did. You piqued it. It is here. Peak interest has been achieved. Alright. I think we can get rid of these two here. I hope I don't regret it. I hope I do not. Ziatara! I don't regret anything anymore. Nothing at all! Alright, we do have a green here, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay. Meow, meow my friend. Meow. Good, good. I like it. A professional face breaker. What is this treasure tribal? This is just freaking treasure tribal. Okay. Well, I mean, that's still pretty darn interesting, I have to say. I really do have to say that that is still pretty darn interesting. But it will only be attacking with the Atsushi. That is fine. That is pretty okay with me. Pretty much so. I will still be getting in there with the kid, you know? So what you gonna do now, my friend? What you gonna do now? Exactly. Like oh my. That changes things a little bit. Not too much, though, I have to say. Not too much, though. Alrighty. Still attacking in here. They will be blocking my little token here. Maybe they're afraid. They're not afraid. Not at all. Nothing scares them. Nothing freaking scares them. That is acceptable. I accept it. I would just throw my little cat into your freaking professional face breaker here. Because I really do not like that one bit. Not in the freaking slightest, my friend. Not in the slightest. You, you need to go. You really do need to go here. Oh, what you have here? Oh, you're looking at the treasures. Okay. Well, this turn only. This turn, my friend. That is all you can do. Play it this turn only. Only this turn. Okay, here's six treasures for us now. Six tasty little treasures. Who is the Tempest now? Who is the real Dragon Lord? It is Ziatora, the Incinerator. Oh, she will incinerate you so hard. Oh, so hard. Oh, yes. You can have that. You really, really can have that. I don't mind at all. I really don't mind at all. Because I will be doing some crazy shenanigans now. Yes, I will. Oh, yes, I will. Prosper Browsing Keeper. Alrighty. That is fine by me still. 
That is still fine by me. Alright, all I need is enough mana for these two things. I'm making more tapped treasures. I wonder why. What else have you got here, my friend? What else have you got here? I really, really want to see. Another Gala Greeters. Okay. That is still kind of fine by me, you know? It is still absolutely kind of fine by me still. Gain the life, gain the life. Okay, gain more life. Nothing I can do about it, is there now? We'll be getting rid of one of these Gala Greeters now. Could have done it before, before they gained the life, but it doesn't really matter. I, I, I did my decision here. I, I did it. All right. Bring down you here. And uh, we're making a copy out of this. Yes. Okay. Now we're uh, getting you down here. We are attacking in with uh, not everything, only with these. Making a copy out of this as well. Okay, gaining a lot of freaking, I mean, hey, look at this. Freaking look at it. Ain't it freaking delicious? The answer is yes. Yes, it is freaking delicious. All right, do I need to, uh, uh, it doesn't look like I need to sacrifice it. But we're second this one here. And uh, throwing it uh, right into your little monkey face. Yes, there it is. The little freaking monkey face. And we can't even keep this one. Oh, 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 look at me. I am the Dragon Lord. Atsushi the Blazing Sky. <laughs> Sheesh. What are you? Like Neo Tokyo? Something like that? Yeah, I, th I think it is Neo Tokyo. But still, get out of here, Atsushi. Get out of here. Have I slept way too little? Yes. Am I still keep on pushing? Yes. Will I be the one that destroys them all? But that one deck that beat us? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely yes. Oh, get out of here, man. Get out of here. You tried to professional face break Ziatora? Ziatora is the original face breaker. Get out of here, man. Original face break Sunday morning. So we have time for one last game here at least, at least one more, we will see. We're going first. Can we draw one more land? If we can, this hand is gold, man. Gold is what it is. Because Fable in the Mirror Breaker into a Seeker's Chariot, that is pretty darn good. All we need is one land. One land. Well, that is no land. Not yet. But uh, we do have a little time thanks to the Voltage Surges here. We do have some time. Oh my. Alright, well, we're getting rid of this right away. Right away. Not even chilling. Not even chilling. No Giada for you, my friend. None so ever. And there is the land now. Oh, ain't it a beauty? Oh, yes, it is. It is a beauty. So, no matter what they're doing here, we can attack and use the Voltage Surge in the worst case. If they do have. How many angel decks are we encountering today? How many? Alright, another Giada. That is totally uncool, man. Totally uncool, man. All right. We're getting rid of the Meat Hook Massacre here. Hoping to find an untapped land, and there we go. There we went. All right. Good, good, good. Real good. Okay. So the Giada will, like, you be useful once here. Once. And that is it. That is it. Righteous Valkyrie, super annoying as freaking heck. Super annoying as freaking heck, but hey, nothing I can do about it. Is there now? Is there now? No, there ain't. Maybe we're drawing another untapped land here. We did draw another untapped land. That is pretty darn delicious. Pretty freaking darn delicious. Oh no. Oh no, I messed up. I messed up royally here. Freaking royally. All right. I mean, hey, it happens to the best, doesn't it now? Freaking doesn't it now? All right, we're only attacking it with the cat here. We will just overrun them slowly but surely. Maybe they're even blocking with their righteous Valkyrie. Oh, oh, you really did. You poor schmuck. 
You poor, poor little schmuck. Okay. Submit zero, of course. And there's literally no reason to do that. And uh, maybe I'm even cycling my Zeotoros Proving Grounds here. Oh, I messed up with the lands. For some reason... Okay, yeah, that is... That is all. That is just, you know, Shuffler is fine. Shuffler is freaking fine. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Nothing, my friends. All right, I am cycling this. Whatever we draw will be better than, you know, having this in hand. The Fable of the Mirror Breakers, indeed. Very much better. And a Riveteer's Charm, eh? Yeah, we're doing it. We're freaking doing it. Give me one darn good reason why I shouldn't. Give me one darn good reason why I freaking shouldn't. Alrighty. Now we are attacking in with everything. At catting in. This is now and a scoop! To a bajillion cats they scoop! 490! Can we go back into the dabbing zone? I don't know, but the game was so fast we really have time for one last game. Get out of here, Angels number two. Get out of here. That was really like, like the first Angels game as well. How many freaking Righteous Valkyries do you even need? Curve Huena. We're going first. What is this, Krimis? Is this a trap? It might be a trap, you know? Might be. Might freaking be. Well, we will see. See what they're doing here. Right now they're doing nothing, and I like that. I like that a lot. You have anything here? Do you have it? Dragon's fire! That is annoying, but not the end of the world annoying. I will just be doing this now. And either we get in the Asikis chariot, or we do not, but we will do our darndest here. Do you have another dragon's fire, my friend, Curve Huena? Do you freaking have it? Well, we'll have to find out okay, all together now, don't we? Freaking don't we? Making a hit. Alright, then in that case I will be going with the Black Market Tycoon here. You do have another Dragon's Fire. Are you kidding me, man? Are you freaking kidding me? Get out of here, man. Shafla, come on. Every game we're going up against the same shenaniganery. Every single game. I do not appreciate it one bit. Not in the slightest. No way, Jose. Okay. We don't have a treasure here. But we do have a freaking cat wagon is what we have. Yes, yes, I like it. I really do. Okay. I'm making a treasure here. And uh, ending the turn. And let us see what we're doing here. I mean, we still have options, you know. We only drew five lands and six in 11 cards. That is still okay. The double dragon fire, that was brutal, man. That The second one was brutal, man. I really have to say. I was playing around a counter spell, but that one was pretty, pretty darn brutal. Yes, it was. Oh, yes, it was. Are you shooting that one down once more? Are you now? Are you really? Oh, you have a... Uh, yeah, I know what you have. You have a freaking... Oh, okay. Well, I did not expect that, to be honest. I expected a lot, but not that. Okay. Are you going to attack, though? Are you now? Well, if you are, you can freaking have it. I don't mind. It's only one treasure. I'd rather keep this for a gold span dragon, a potential one, you know? Well, that's a lot of land game. Thank you very freaking much. I don't, do not appreciate it one bit. They still have things, man. They still have freaking things, man. That is the third dragon's fire. Come on, game. Cut me some slack. Cut me some freaking slack, man. Oh, my lord. Come on. Really now? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well... We're still looking for their freaking gold span dragon here. We could not even play the freaking Meadog Masker if we tried. Not even if we freaking tried. Sheesh, man. The triple dragon spire. Is that really the only thing that can save him here? Jenga Texas? What? 
What does this prevent? Artifact instant or sorcery spells. Okay. Alright. Well, I mean, why not, you know? So we don't have a single black source on the battlefield. That is just freaking brutal, man. Just freaking brutal. Okay, well, everything that we play now gets countered. Also, seven lands in the first 13, yes. Yes, that is what we did. They had the triple dragon's fire. <laughs> oh, Jesus, man, really? Really, is that how we going down now to the sheer freaking triple dragon's fire? Triple righteous Valkyrie before? Oh, gosh, man, really, really. All we need is one single black source and we're good. But I threw them all away. I threw them all away. It's what I did. Yes. I'm very, very unsatisfied with my life choices here. <laughs> very much unsatisfied. Hey, maybe they mill themselves. Who knows? Who freaking knows? You know there is a chance of that happening. There is a small, insignificant chance of that happening. All right. They will be attacking him with everything here. I'm pretty darn certain about it. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Make themselves even more treasures. I mean, why the heck not? We're still blocking this. Like, there's literally no reason not to block this. I mean, all we need is a black source and we're happy. We're pretty darn happy. It's all we need. One single black source and we're good. We're freaking good. Come on, give me that black source. Well, it ain't no black source. But it is still pretty darn good. As long as you don't play counter spells. They do play counter spells. Well, we're screwed. We're screwed if they do. But they also kind of need to have another counter spell here, you know? Do you have it? Oh, come on, man! Come on! Like, really? Really? You really had a counter spell here? Well, I mean, hey, that's just GG, you know? That is just GG, no re. We are, we are out of here, man. We are out of here. Even if we do get another black source now, it is just too late. A counter spell, really? Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Yeah, the games we lost, I'm not taking responsibility for that. <laughs> that was totally uncool game. Like, Shuffler is fine, you know? We encountered people at three offs everything. Just easy as freaking pie, you know? Easy as freaking pie, man. But we still got them real freaking good, apart from two. But, you know, winning four out of six is still what I like to do. And we're still, like, top 600 or something like that. So, hey, I'm pretty darn happy about it. And you know what also makes me pretty darn happy? Every single person on this beautiful list. Oh, thank you all so very freaking much. All the new members, all the new patrons, you should all be on this list by now. I hope I didn't miss a single one. Otherwise, I would be a little bit sad. But, you know, it happens to the best of us. I'm also human. And uh, even though I don't like to admit it, but I'm human. So, yeah. <laughs> I wish I was and I wish I was a beautiful, beautiful cat beautiful dog or whatever so yeah once more thank you also very freaking much i will be uh, recording some more videos today because i will be at command fest frankfurt next weekend and i need to record some stuff because i don't want to miss out on my freaking streams maybe my 12 hour stream will have to wait a little bit because i still have to set it up and things are going to get a little bit funky in the next few weeks and days because of my concert so maybe Maybe we have to postpone it for just a little bit. But I will keep you up to date. Don't you freaking worry about it, my sweet, sweet summer child. And also, remember, every single morning when you wake up and you look in the mirror for the first time, you drink your coffee and you just sit there, stare into the abyss of the darkness and you see yourself in the mirror. Remember that all of you are pretty freaking sweet indeed. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.